We're here in Alaska. The water looks pretty darn dirty. Like really dark. I don't know if it's all just tannin from the leaves. We were thinking, um, just try to see, first of all, if I can get any visibility to find some sea urchins. We love to eat uni. Or a very um, prized thing that's eaten up here is sea cucumbers. Basically, I'm just gonna go look and see if we can find some food for this grumpy bear. You nervous about it being cold? Well, I wouldn't say nervous. It's hard for me sometimes to get excited about cold water when it's at least cold clear water. It's more enticing when it's cold freaking black water. Sometimes the hardest part is doing it all with a little baby bear in tow. But it's also the most rewarding part. Well, I take it back. It's now a little more enticing to get into the water. Thank you, honey, for... Yeah, thank thanks, you. Thanks, First drop, it's always diving into the unknown and there's a part of your voice that's always like, no, you're going the wrong way. Once you're able to just make anything out, whether it's the bottom or you know any type of structure, that fear of the unknown gets replaced with this curiosity, with this urge to go on and explore and it just feels good, makes you feel alive. So we were able to get in the water here, get these beautiful treasures of sea urchins and sea cucumbers while Buddy was my brave boatman with Daddy. And now we're going to attempt to cut it all open and get it ready to eat. They look really dangerous. I mean, I honestly, you saw me yesterday, even when I took off my gloves, holding them with my bare hands. If you're careful, it's all right. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn it over. And this is the mouth of the urchin. I'm sure there's so many different ways of how to do this, but I'm just gonna cut. I love how Buddy pays attention when I do stuff like this. Ooh, you can see some uni already. Ooh, okay, so I shouldn't cut too far in. Maybe that's enough cutting already, huh? But I cut out the mouth. See that, honey? That's where it eats the kelp. Don't need that. But what um, true uni connoisseurs do is now they take a sip of the liquid in there. I've never done that before. I'm gonna do it. But is that just seawater or what is what is the liquid? I'm sure it's a lot of seawater. Uni juice, buddy wants to try them. Okay, not, I mean, just tastes salty. Not my favorite, like salty and little. So then you're gonna just dump out everything. Um, supposedly the gonads, the yellow stuff that we're gonna eat is gonna stay in, but you just, you pour out all the liquid and now you can scoop out your uni. Yeah, I think Buddy really wants to try some. So there's gonna be this black stuff that you really wanna kind of use your fingers, pick off, remove, but it's the yellow. The yellow, sometimes it's orange. This is huge, you guys. Holy cow. Okay, and not all urchins are created equal. In Hawaii, our urchins, we refer to them as vana. I mean, some, pe some people do eat them, I don't. They're very strong, they taste like iodine. What are the gonads? Like, what, what are you it's, I believe this is like the sexual reproductive organs. So it's one, two, three, four, five. There's always gonna be five of those. Try and very carefully remove it with a spoon, taking off all this black stuff. I really um, would just say diving for them, it's like picking roses. That's what it feels like because these Alaskan uni, they are just beautiful. But I know that most people probably when they look at that, they think it's disgusting. But that's actually one reason why I fell in love with you, honey, is because you being from straight up Minnesota, not used to stuff like this, instantly loved it, yeah? It took me years to acquire the taste for this. And so when you instantly tried it and were like, that is so delicious, 
I knew I had a keeper. This is a rock. Here's your baby carrier. Don't roll downhill. And um, have fun. You're not on timeout. You're in the playpen of the forest. You're being such a good baby, buddy. Nature baby. And it is so much easier to do this without him strapped to me. You like take full advantage to any time you're not holding a child. I think what's most appealing to me when, whenever I do come up here is that it's not like this, it's nothing like this luxury guided tour. You have a teeny tiny boat and your two hands and your own ambition and you have to, you have to work for everything. But if you enjoy the outdoors and you enjoy this kind of work, it's the best vacation ever. <laughs> I'm a purist when it comes to uni. I love it. Just, oh, simple, raw. Oh, baby fell down. <laughs> we oh, ate dirt. <laughs> Mother of the Year Award. I'm sorry. I just wanted everyone to know that Buddy's okay. So note to self, new parents, when you're putting babies down to play, maybe not, maybe not on hills. So with that being said, we are done processing our uni. In the meantime, let's do sea cucumber. I don't know, this is how my dad would always do it. It's kind of just uh, whack it. Okay, you just wanna whack it like that. With these cucum cucumbers, like the more you handle them, the firmer they're gonna get and um, <laughs> it's true Justin and you just want to slice it open oh my god I feel like we should have just done a cutting board the nail thing is dumb but he's safe and sound for the time being I think that's a better spot it still is a hill but we put a blanket and he's happy and there's trees blocking any of that rolling action now <laughs> we're gonna move on can cut off the mouth part, cut off this end, and then we can just slice it open. Lots of water, lots of salt water is gonna come out, and all the guts and innards all just kind of pour out with that salt water. This is a cleaned sea cucumber if you're gonna use <clears throat> the whole thing. And, and a lot of cultures, not so much here in Alaska, but definitely eat the whole sea cucumbers. I'll put it in this bowl over here so that we can do that Alaska style, which is kind of frying it up almost like a calamari, but actually much better. I keep checking on you, buddy. You're doing great. Look at him, he's having so much fun. I just look at these things. So they look like they're totally pokey, like things you wouldn't want to grab underwater, but they're not, they're super squishy. My dad used to have this contraption that was basically had some nails sticking out of it and you would use that to kind of hold the skin in place while you scrape this away and now I see why because it really is slippery so if you just push it along it will remove itself from the skin you see that how it's coming off we will save this but this is the part that we're going to fry up it looks like conch almost, yeah? The innards of a shellfish. All right, we better get cooking. So I have coconut oil going in this pan. This is what the sea cucumbers now look like. I took the time, really cleaned them, kind of rinsed them, dried them. So I'm just doing strips. We'll do a few testers. See how it goes. I haven't done this in a long time. So this is my paper bag trick. This is how I normally bread things. I found some whole wheat flour in the pantry. So I'm just gonna put that in here. Our old assistant, our dear friend Sarah, swears by Old Bay. So this is one sea cucumber. No mess that way. Okay, I'm gonna put this right in the hot oil. You can also saute this with garlic. It's so delicious that way. How'd you learn this recipe? My dad taught me this recipe. It's a very um, sweet smell, wouldn't you say? Yeah, is that coconut oil? I think it's both. I mean, it's coconut oil, but it's definitely the sea cucumber. <laughs> well, I found a grumpy bear with his banana. And, yeah. 
and some uni sushi. So I just made white rice and then formed it into these little ovals. I am no sushi master. Wrap them up with some nori, some dried seaweed, and then just top them with the different unis. Without further ado, we have not tried any of this yet. I'm just gonna take some wasabi, show you. Here we go. Oh, buddy. Don't be a buzzkill for this first bite, please. Mm. <laughs> it was good. It was not, um, it wasn't so strong. It wasn't a very strong flavor at all. Maybe just a little bit of lemon for this one. Mm. Maybe I just want to try the actual roe straight up. Maybe I just need no rice. A little touch to show you maybe. Mmm. Oh yeah, that one just truly melted in my mouth. Was sweet, was briny, was buttery. It was all of those things. I think it's almost like too much rice for me, but I'm a purist, like I said. I like sea urchin so much that that is exactly what I want to taste. Small little dip into the soy sauce. Open wide. Say, ah. Uh. You're gonna love that one. Mmm. Well, right? Yep. Should we move on to the sea cucumber? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it a little squeeze of lemon. Golden brown. Looks delicious. Let's try it. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Once you get past that crisp, it's just pure tender goodness. Okay, Justin, I'm gonna give you like two pieces in one bite because one is... Curly fries. Yeah. Ready for that? Yeah. Mm. So good, right? Oh, wow, so tender. Isn't it? Mm. It's like if you like calamari, you will like this better. Well, I'm so happy that I have my husband, Justin, who is always encouraging me to get in the water even if we're in Alaska. It's just so fun to look around on the land, in the ocean, and see the food that's abundant and flourishing and there to feed you. We're gonna have a lot more food and a lot more adventure right here in Alaska. So please do subscribe and we will see you back next week.